The Voices of Kentuckyana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Beverly. Produced by Lynn King. here with Michelle Griffith today and she's going to be telling us some more things about the Trimble County Relay for Life. There's some things you might not know and some of that is you don't have to be there all night do you? That's right we changed last year our venue to where we were just going until 11 o'clock so the actual time is 5 to 11. We've really already done all of our fundraising and um, it's basically just the celebration time and um, the, the word relay got in there because we really want somebody on the track at all times from your team. But it's, it's really a celebration of the survivors and the, in honor and memory of the ones that have passed away. And we really feel like that that can be accomplished in the shorter period of time. And we had a lot better response last year with it just being until 11 o'clock. I think a lot more people will come knowing that they don't have to stay up all night. Right, a lot of older people attend this, so that will be easier on them. And if you've got children, well, you want to go home and put them to bed, so then they can they can be there. So you, I think you have a wider range of age group now. And we um, also changed it to Saturday. Um, it usually was held on a Friday night, and it's really hard for everybody to get away from work and right. get their kids whatever's going on, ball games, and uh, ba the banks open till six o'clock. And um, I think having it on Saturday, where uh, in the evening, where you can get all your chores done in the daytime and then uh, be done by 11 so you can get up for church in the morning. So I think the Saturday venue was a, a lot better for for the county as well. Right. I think, it, I think it does make it easier for people to be there. So that's wonderful. Now one of the things, um, they can still sign up for teams. Yes, we can still sign up. Um, I saw that a team had signed up today. A oh, new wow. team. So <laughs> we now have 10 teams. Um, our goal is 15. We had 11 last year, so we still would like to see some more teams sign up. Um, you still have some time to fundraise, so it just depends on what you want to do as your fundraiser. We have all kinds of, of things going on and with each different team. But yes, we, we really would like to have some more teams. And if you don't want to be on, uh, on a, ha, ha, come up with a team yourself, then we have uh, 10 teams and you're welcome to join any of those teams. Or you can sign up and just walk or come and uh, just be a part and not be on a team. Oh. Whatever, you know, whatever your fancy is. A lot of people don't want to be on a team and that's fine. And we, we have spectators come and sit around and watch and talk and, you know, look at all the booths and well, that that's fun it, for people too. That makes it easy because you can't always put together a team. That's right. Know, so. it, I mean, yeah, it takes a lot of dedication to get your fundraiser going. and. We just had ours on Friday at work and um, it, it, it is a lot of work, but it's so rewarding. And you know, now I can say we're done and I can concentrate on the, the big relay itself. Um, once you're, you know, if you have something that's just a day long, uh, compare, you know, as opposed to somebody that's selling something the, the whole duration, but um, uh, it's so rewarding to be able to know that you, your dollar could be the dollar that finds the cure for cancer. You never know yes. where that, which dollar it's going to be. So it's rewarding to know yeah. that you did your part. Yes. And, and you always tell everybody that, that you don't know what dollar is going to make a difference. And so every, every one of them count. That's right. You don't, I mean, um, it's not picky. Cancer's not picky and no, and finding the cure is going to be one of those things that just a dollar We'll, we'll take care of. So hopefully the research, um, the dollars will go a long way in, right. in finding a cure. 
Now this year, you all have as far as the food goes. I know like years ago when Denise Hall and I were doing it, the food was donuts from Horse Bakery, which are awesome, but you all have progressed so far now that you have what for well, meals? Well, the Rotary will mm -hmm. be there. And uh, we also have a survivor meal yes. that is at the beginning of the evening at five that is actually a buffet, sit down, come and bring your your uh, caregiver or your right. significant other, whoever you you want to honor with you and uh, be a part of that meal. But, you know, it's something that's revolved from, I think, um, they used to do des just a dessert, like a sweets time. Right. Uh, but but this year, we, went, we had a box meal last year. This year, we're gonna really have a set down hot meal. And um, the Rotary Club will be there set up for you to uh, purchase food throughout the evening. Sometimes we have a team that will do the tacos in a bag or walking tacos. Yes. Um, we did the team that signed up today, which was uh, a cheerleading team, sometimes is the, the ones that do that. So I'm hoping to talk them into that. So. <laughs> you guys hear that? You're supposed to do tacos in a bag. <laughs> Somebody maybe will take that on. and uh, I, They usually do really well. Yeah. Well, yeah, but until 11 o'clock, you get hungry, or at least I do. I don't know about some people, but I get hungry fairly often, so that would be a good fundraiser for them. I think Bedford Bank also, um, they came and and did it like like a tailgate party and um, had a grill and made their stuff just for their bank team right. in the past and uh, Trina was telling me that people were coming up to them wanting to purchase sandwiches so I think that they're probably going to be selling their food as well so they'll be grilling out and right. that'll be part of their fundraising. Oh wow that'll, that'll be great. So you're going to get all kinds of food. You need to come out and check it out. So, and then in, in order to be a team, you have to have mo how much money to be a team? Well, we are uh, encouraging the, them. The um, the individual is should is supposed to raise a hundred dollars right. in your name, and um, the team. There's really not a set goal. That's just up to you. Um, everybody makes a different amount but if you could have a hundred dollars made per team member e even if that's a hundred fifty dollars for one and fifty dollars for another right. then you'll earn your hope t-shirt which is the, the hope club you know raising a hundred dollars right. so you know um don't set your standards so high that that it makes it too hard for yeah. you to be a team if you want to do it, you know, you can make it happen and, and you're always welcome to call or look up on Relay Nation, Google, there's all kinds of things you can do for fundraising. And, right. and um, just asking some family members, you know, five family members give you $20, you have your $100. Oh, yeah. So that makes it easy. It's not really that hard. Um, we have uh, some things new this year that we haven't done in the past. We have... Um, a live auctioneer coming and <laughs> who is instead it? of our it's justin mccoy oh he's good <laughs> he is he just did i work with him and he did our auction at work um, we auctioned right. off desserts and some um, gift cards and things and we actually made almost twenty five hundred dollars oh, down, uh, down at lg and &E at the plant right. so um, i'm excited he's uh, excited he's very he's kind of bashful but he is really a good guy and uh -huh. he really turns on so we're looking to have a good time with that and what's going to happen is we have um, the silent auction baskets that each team member or each team is supposed to come up with a theme and do their own basket and then they donate it for the silent auction which is going to be a live auction this year so if you put you know if you're interested in like UK or U of L or um, camo or John Deere or coca-cola or something like that a movie night um, uh, the cheerleaders usually do like the passes to games I, 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 that was a really good purchase on my part when <laughs> my kids were in sports yeah. but um, the we're gonna live auction those off and one of the reasons for that is we have an art class at the high school that uh, are painting for us, including Miss Pujol, the, the art teacher, she's donating a, a print. We donated the canvases and they're painting for us and we will be auctioning those prints off. Um, we'll be contacting the parents of the people who did their paintings and let them know that their artwork is gonna be sold at, at Relay. So right. we're really excited about that and hope that that will bring some spectators. And that will happen around seven o'clock. We wanted to do that for the people that don't wanna stay all night that um, 
you can come and partake in an auction and and everybody likes that and, and usually has a good time and oh yeah things maybe go for a little bit more than than they're worth but that's all in the fun of it and, right. and it'll be a good cause so right. um, we're excited to have that now what is the deadline for them to donate um, baskets or artwork or whatever we'll to take, the auction we'll take things right up until so that the, evening okay I mean like we are we do already have a donation of a ph photography session Kara Turner yes. is donating that and then we'll have all our auction baskets and I'm not sure what else so if you're interested in donating something to be auctioned off that evening please get with me and we'll, <laughs> we'll make that happen now how can they get in touch with you we need we need to give them a phone number or a website or Facebook page to get um, yes you. you can contact me through the relay for life Trimble County Facebook page or um, it's Michelle Griffith uh, I'm the administrator or one of the administrators for that Facebook page so you can get me through my personal page Michelle Griffith or um, the Relay for Life Trimble County and um, my cell phone number is on that Facebook page so you're welcome to contact me through that um, also the uh, the relay site itself is www.relayforlife.org backslash Trimble KY. So if you're looking to uh, enter yourself or a team um, or see who's signed up so far and uh, maybe be a little bit competitive, uh, get on maybe the middle school cheerleaders want to be competitive against the high school cheerleaders go. because the middle school signed up the high school hasn't um so or maybe one of the banks that isn't signed up or anyway if you want to be competitive you can look on there and see the team members that we have already and the team full teams that right. we have you don't want to be left out as far as supporting this you know that that wouldn't be good you that's need, right you need to support it and make sure you're you're in there so that's right now you've moved up actually with the with the teams now last year how many teams did you have we had 11 teams but we only we only had nine come and set up right so um we have 10 teams signed up so if they all come and set up, oh, we we really and all you really need to do is put a tent up and decorate and you know come up with a theme and decorate. Our county theme this year is dreaming in color, and um, the idea behind that is to pick a ribbon color for the ribbons cancer ribbon colors like pink is for breast cancer. Um, pick a color and decorate in just that color, or come up with your own theme like Farmers Bank of Milton did a right. farmer's look last right. year. So like a farmer's market with the veg vegetables out so you can come up with your own theme and there's really nothing to setting up like what we call a tent or a booth is just um, setting up your tent and decorating right now this churches can get involved in this the local churches here you don't have to actually live in Trimble County to be in this you know if if you want to be in the Relay for Life in Trimble County, then you just get a hold of Michelle and you set it up, whether you're a church or you're an organization or a company or a business, you know, you just need a few people to come over and do that and it would be fun. We've all, would, we've heard about a team that's coming from Oldham County. It's actually from a doctor's office that a lot of people in Trimble County go to. So, you know, we, we uh, patronize other counties right. for a lot of our things we that we have to have and a lot of us work in other counties that's so right we help with the relay of for life in that county plus the one in our own county so right so it would be nice you could give back a little it sure would <laughs> <laughs> and we would appreciate it very much very much so now there's a few other things going on for the relay this this year and those are we had uh, a, one of the teams did a 5k this year and they made over a thousand dollars for relay for life and we have a golf scramble that is going to be taking place Monday Memorial Day weekend. Mackenzie Dunlap is the person to contact for that. Um, it is in the county at the Cardinal Hills Golf Course, yes. so you can uh, check that out. It starts at 9 o'clock. That's May 28th. Um, we have um, a luminary ceremony that's always very touching that will right. be the last thing that we do that evening and um, we are selling those luminaries bags for five dollars a piece we have the elementary school is participating in that fundraiser they all um, I believe the fifth grade art classes at the Bedford Elementary are decorating bags and we're sending home notes to the parents asking them to donate five dollars to put your bag out but the bags will be used that evening because we always right. have somebody decorating bags anyway so if you want to if you need to purchase your luminary bag 
which is in honor or in memory of someone, then you can contact uh, me through the Facebook page and um, they're $5 a piece. And that's uh, also a, a fundraiser in itself for the relay. Yes. We keep that, that money separate so we'll know how much that we made through that. So. Through the to the luminary bags, mm -hmm. yeah. and that is um, a, a quiet ceremony that happens after dark, where all the bags are put around the track, That's and awesome. it is um, dark, and the they have candles in them. We actually use glow sticks th these days, but. Um, it's a really, you can check out the Relay Facebook page for pictures from last year. Right. And um, you can kind of get a little bit of an idea, but what we do is we write down all the names of in honor of or in memory of, and they are read um, while everyone else is silent. And people can walk around the track and just be quiet and um, think and have your memories and um, hear your loved one's names mentioned. It's a, a really touching ceremony. That'll be the, the last thing we do before we have right. awards for your money raising. And there's another neat thing that they do. They uh, they actually recognize the caregivers because Michelle says that, you know, once you are, you always are. That's right. Uh, a lot of people think that if they're a caregiver, then you're only the caregiver as long as your person is alive. Right. And um, I was a caregiver for my grandparents who aren't here anymore. They both have passed away from lung cancer. And um, you, I didn't realize that I was a caregiver now. Right. And, um, you know, they've been gone for a long time. But when when you're a caregiver, you're always a caregiver. Yeah. So we have a lap, especially for you. So at the beginning of the ceremonies, we do have a survivor lap. Then we ask the caregivers to come out with the, the survivors that are still there. Right. Or if you're a caregiver and your person has passed away, you're still the caregiver and we still would love to recognize you with your lap. That's that's awesome. Everybody needs a little extra pat yeah. for that. So. And it's a very thankless job, but it is uh, once again very rewarding to yes. to know that yes. you made a difference. Yeah, and and this really strikes home for you because of the girls you have at the house. Yes, um, I was telling Debbie that when I was younger, it just this has always just been something that's near and dear to my heart because I have two grown ladies that live in my home or lived in my home in my family <laughs> and, and so there were three women in the family and in our household and the uh, statistics for breast cancer breast cancer are now one in eight which they, they were one in nine and now it's one in eight and um, you know I, I have a third of that in my house yes. so I wanted to make sure that I know everything that I can possibly know and do everything that I can to yeah. to make sure that everybody knows that they need to keep up with their mammograms yes. and um, plus raise the funds for research. Right. It's it's really important, and I, I think a lot of women don't think a mammogram is that important. And you know, they well, I didn't. I did it last year. I'm not going to do it this year. But some cancer, breast cancers, are very fast growing. There have been. I I actually know a, a friend of mine in this county that got them every year, and between one and the other, she had it in both right. breasts. So um, you need need to stay on top of that yes. every year, no matter what. Right. And you know, you, there's could be that one time that that it's found in between. So yeah, don't don't leave it out yeah don't leave it out that's very it, do it on your birthday or you know choose some date that you can always remember and have it done make that your or girls day out every year your girlfriends y'all go get a mammogram together and then go out and have lunch you know right <laughs> so, do, do, do something to make sure you remember to do it so that's a great one now we have a few more things to tell them about um, just to make sure that we if, that you come and uh, support us and support the fundraising that's going on in the town. I do know that um, the middle school and Milton Elementary participated in a relay recess for relay oh, a couple wow. of weeks ago <laughs> and made over $900. Oh, that's great. So that will be going to one of the teams that was part of their fundraising. So it was, and all they did was let the kids dress up every day. They made, right. it, made it something to do with the uh, cancer or revolved around a story about uh, the American Cancer Society in some shape or fashion, but you know, they could wear 
pajamas or a hat or whatever their day of dress right. was and give a dollar to be able to dress like that. And they raised $900 <laughs> by just getting it a, a one dollar out of each child oh. that wanted to dress up. Yeah, that's great. That is just absolutely wonderful. Now, also, if you can't make it out to the Relay for Life, if you can't be here, but you want to help out, you can always donate to one of the teams. You know, you can, somebody you know is on a team, you can always call them and say, hey, I'll give you this much, you know, for the for your relay, for your team this weekend. So everybody that is signed up now and, or becomes signed up has their own dashboard that's yes. called, kind of like a, an app online. And you can um, just tell Grandpa yes. that I have a, a dashboard and they're able to just go right in there and put it on a credit card, yes. debit card. If they want to give you cash or check, that's fi fine too. We do have a bank night that's um, the Thursday night before our relay, which is on June the 9th. Right. So if you want to give somebody the money to apply to their account, then we have a bank night to turn it in ahead of time, or you can turn it in that evening as well. Oh, wow. Now the date for the Relay for Life here in Trimble County is what? Is June the 11th, which is on a Saturday. Right. If you're a survivor, we want to recognize you at five o'clock with a meal. And then the opening ceremonies are at six o'clock and it will be ending at 11. Yes. And then what is at 7 o'clock? At 7 o'clock we'll be having our auction. Right. Um, we also have, during the walks, uh, during the laps around all night, we have a lot of activities. They do like hula hoop walks and um, walk backwards with an egg in your spoon <laughs> and um, walk in a legs, two, two different people with one leg in a bag yes. or whatever Mackenzie comes up with because she's our activity director this year. But um, we also have a dude looks like a lady contest where the guys that want to participate dress up <laughs> like a girl and they carry their purses and they go around and flirt with everybody and ask for, um, they hold their purses out and let you fill their bags up with money. And, right. uh, you know, we have a winner with that, but that's always fun too. To Some just, of those guys look Really? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it it, that's worth looking at right there. You need to go to see this. It is. Know, so. We have that. That's one of the activities during the evening. But yeah. yeah, we have a lot of fun. And and the night goes by really quick now, too, it, with, it, it does. with it not being all night. And I don't th feel like you have to go all night, you know, right. into the next morning to get the point across that right to accomplish your to goal that's right yeah i think i think that's true and like you said a lot of them are older people or they have young children we don't have too many people in trimble county that are in the middle there they either have children in school or their grandparents you know there's not too many of us that are in the middle there so it's it's important to be able to go home and get up the next morning and mm -hmm. get the kids out or you know whatever so right i think this is a great idea I think you made a, I think you made a good decision there. So. Well, we hope so. I think so. As and a, the time will tell. So <laughs> we need you to show up. <laughs> yeah, make make sure you show up so that we know that you made a good decision here. Because I, I mean, I really think you did. I really do. Because if you only have to stay till eleven to accomplish your goal, raising the money for the Relay for Life, then you've done it. And yeah, just think about what a cancer survivor has to go through. Yes. And that's one of the points of, of the walking all the time around the track, having one person. And it's not a run either. A lot of people no. think that a relay, no. the, re the word relay, really means in this case is you're tag teaming another person on your team yes. to walk in your spot. So if you get tired, you just go say, I need to take a break. Somebody else comes out and walks from your team. It can be one, it can be five, it can be all of you. Um, we do have team some team walks that, that night, but the point is, is for relays just to have somebody walking all the time. And, and the principle behind that is just thinking about everything that a cancer survivor has to go through from the right. minute they hear that they have cancer till they are in their treatments until they've had their last treatment. Right. So, and that's not that's not a one night thing from five to eleven. No, that can, that can be drawn out for over years. Right. You know, sometimes it's a year, sometimes it's more, but they but it's go just through the, a lot. It's just the pain, the respects of yes. spending this one night walking around the track to you know dedicated to survivors and people right. that haven't survived and um, most of the money's already been raised by then so it's just a camaraderie for the county right. and um, something to just show that 
we're behind. That's great. That's you know, and you. and it can even be a little league team. Absolutely. You know, the little league kids they would love to do that. So if if you haven't signed up yet, and you think you can make out make it out, yeah, get a team together. Call Michelle, see her on Facebook, whatever, in order to get in contact with her and sign your team up. You know, and uh, like I said, if you can't make it out and you want to help out, then you can actually contact a team member and donate to that team or to that person, and that would help a great deal. That's right. right. There. So, now is there anything else we need to make sure they know before uh, June the eleventh? No, uh, we're still in our planning stages. I think um, we're uh, wrapping up, making sure we have tents and uh, a DJ and we're, we've got our auctioneer and just make sure that you sign up, um, help with your theme basket and yes uh, so that your team has a theme basket to sell the money that goes that that makes it the live auction goes towards your team and um, just support the people when they stop and ask you is yeah a, the bottom line we're we're here to raise money and and make it fun yes that's great well I tell you Michelle works really hard on this so you know just you need to help her out and show up at this and help the whole county out help all, everyone that's had cancer or that has been a caregiver or is a survivor you know so um, come out and enjoy the night I'm sure you'll have fun it, it's always it's always neat especially the guys dressing up that to me is the funniest part <laughs> it is so but try to make it out or try to support this it would be greatly appreciated this is Debbie Crawford and as always, thanks for watching. The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Beverly, produced by Lynn King.